This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for December 26, as we celebrate the Feast of Saint Stephen's Day. Saint Stephen was the first martyr to die for the Christian faith. He was one of the first men to be ordained a deacon in the church. He was also an important figure in the early church. Saint Stephen gave up his life with great courage for the faith. All of the information known about Saint Stephen comes from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen is first mentioned in Acts 6, as the Apostles faced the difficulty of attending to the material needs of the Greek widows. The Apostles decided to select seven righteous men to serve the church as deacons. These deacons were to devote themselves to distributing food and other assistance to the poor members of the early church community. Stephen was among these seven men that the Apostle selected to serve as deacons. The work of the deacons allowed the Apostles to focus more specifically on preaching and spiritual ministry. One of the other deacons, a man named Nicholas of Antioch, is referred to in Acts as having been a convert to Judaism before his ordination as a deacon. This information implies that Stephen was born a Jew, since Stephen is not also mentioned as a convert. Apart from this information, nothing more is known about Stephen's early life. Stephen's name is also of Greek origin, so it is often assumed that he was a Greek himself. Act says that Stephen was full of faith, and that the Holy Spirit was in him. It also says that he worked many miracles. It is likely that he worked these miracles among the Hellenistic Jews. Stephen's works attracted the opposition of many, but he was able to win debates against these opposers. Many of Stephen's enemies were humiliated that he had bested them in debate, so they obtained false witnesses to testify that Stephen had blasphemed. They brought him to the Sanhedrin with this accusation, but Stephen was not disturbed or worried. Scripture describes his peaceful face as looking like an angel. Before the Sanhedrin, Stephen gave a long and passionate speech to defend himself and to attempt to convince his listeners of the truth of the Gospel. His speech, which takes up nearly all of Acts chapter 7, discussed many elements of Old Testament scripture and showed that Jesus fulfilled the law of Moses. He ended his speech by declaring that his listeners were stiff-necked and resistant to the Holy Spirit. He rebuked them for killing Jesus and for not keeping the law. When Stephen finished speaking, he saw a vision of Jesus at the right hand of God. His listeners were furious at his rebukes and his description of the vision, which they said was more proof of his blasphemy. They were so furious that they rushed forward and apprehended him, carrying him outside the city to be stoned. As he was being stoned to death, Stephen's last words were a prayer that Jesus would receive his spirit and that his killers would be forgiven. Saint Stephen is the patron saint of deacons. You can ask him to pray for you if you are a deacon, or you can ask him to pray for a deacon you know. You can also ask him to pray for you if you are in the process of becoming a deacon, or you can ask him to pray for someone you know who is in the process of becoming a deacon. Saint Stephen is also the patron saint of bricklayers, stonemasons, and casket makers. You can seek his intercession if you work in one of these professions, or you can seek his intercession on behalf